Hi, boys and girls. I'm in the beautiful Central Valley. It's a little sunny out here. The Central Valley is between Sierra Nevada mountains and our coastal region. It's filled with a large flat valley center right in the middle of California. Fun fact, it is 40 to 60 miles wide and stretches north to south over a 450 miles. It's comprised of beautiful flowers in the spring and grasses look gold. So much gold in the afternoon, it gives off a, sore, a soft gold shimmery look. That's almost, that is the reason why we became known as the Golden State. Also, our California poppy has that gold color, so it supports that name. Our Central Valley is separated into two valleys, really, just like the coastal almost. Two main rivers go in this Central Valley that provides a great water source for, for farmers the Sacramento River and the San Joaquin River. Farmers are very essential and depend on the aqueduct. Have you ever seen the aqueduct near us? I know I see it in several stretches when I go driving or there's even opportunities to fish and walk along it near us too. Have you been there before? There are over 200 and 50 crops that are grown and provided in, in production in our Central Valley. It's estimated, fun fact, that these crops bring in $17 billion a year just in California. Did you know that this region is the most productive agricultural region, not only in California, but the world? It provides and produces more than half of our fruits, vegetables, and nuts just for the U.S. That makes quite an impact. Also, a fun fact about the Central Valley is that our state capital is located in the north, Sacramento. Have you ever been there? It's quite a beautiful building. Now, Farmers are essential here, as I've already stated. This valley could not sustain without them and the workers and water that is provided in this area. Now, it's your turn to gather up your resources, take your notes, and see you in social studies time for our project.